Welcome. In today's session, we will discuss removing medical debt from your credit report or removing medical errors from your credit report. In this episode, this is brand new information. The, the big three reporting agencies, which are called National Credit Reporting Agencies, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, now supports that as of this summer, beginning Jan July, they will remove 70% of what's called medical debt or medical errors from your credit report. Yes, this is brand new information. You hear more about it and, and we will talk further. The CFPB, which is the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, estimate that there's about $88 billion dollars in medical information that are on your credit report, and majority of it is incorrect information or unreported information, and therefore they've decided to take the next step to remove, to ask the agencies to remove erroneous information. So what this boils down to is that when unpaid medical expenses show up on your credit records, it is usually because they haven't been paid in a long time or simply because they're incorrect billing. Now, we've decided here on our channel that we're going to introduce financial education. Yes, while you're on child support and while you're, while you're attempting to get off child support, we're going to provide information on the child support topic, but also to improve your financial education, and this is one of them. Now, we have two other videos called Strategies for Improving Your, your Credit and Your Finances, as well as How to Remove Child Support from Your Credit Report. Please do review those videos. So now that the, the three, what is called Nash Reporting Agencies, have said, they're going to remove erroneous information on your credit report regarding medical information. Let's see how that works with your strategy in order to improve your finances as well as to get off child, uh, child support. Remember, folks, the reason for us being here and providing you with education is that this is your credit information. This belongs to you and therefore you need to take the necessary steps to remove it. Hello? My name is Chris, and in this session, we're going to talk about the new news from the government, wherein as the, child's, the credit bureaus are now will remove what is called erroneous or incorrect billing from your credit report. As always, if you have any questions or comments regarding any of our program, please feel free to reach out to us at our email, as well as we ask for donation. We provide you with information that you could use to improve your life in ch child support as well as your financial life, which we're now looking at. And all we're asking for is a donation via Cash App or PayPal. Also, we provide this information on our podcast. That is Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. We did a, a, a prior video call, Understanding Jurisdiction, Part 1 and Part 2. Please feel free to check that out because as you know by now, jurisdiction is the cornerstone of our legal process if you intend on getting away from child support. So let's look at the bill itself that started, started the, the steps, the necessary steps to remove erroneous medical information from your credit report. It's the bill called HR 5330. And this was passed into law back in December 5, 2019. And it became effective this year in 2022. So if you want to review that bill for, so we're going to highlight some what's going on. So according to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, medical debt burden in the United States is one of the what is called the precursor towards bankruptcy as well as bad credit. In addition to other type of credit like student loan and mortgages, but medical debt, such as a catastrophic illness, can result in you having bad credit. We are just out of the phase of what is called COVID-19, the pandemic. And through that process, there were many medical issues such as vaccinations, such as people getting sick and long-term stay. 
that has affected your credit report. So what really happens on the credit report? Well, if you have unpaid medical bills, it will affect your credit report. Unlike financial institutions and retailers, the medical industry or the billing industry, they have about a 180-day waiting period before unpaid medical debt can show up on your credit report. How, do, how does that work? Well, you're working with a specific provider or you have co-pays or you use several out of, out of what they call network medical providers. Well, they're not all communicating with each other. They just have their portion of the bill in which they send to your insurance agency. And if they can't collect or there's a difference, then they send that bill to you. Unfortunately, the process for communicating all of that back to the consumer, well, there's somewhat of a process, but so it's disconnected. And as a result, you could have a procedure or an illness or a copay of, let's say, $50 that hasn't gone paid for several months, then all of a sudden it shows up on your credit report, and now your FICO score drops about 50 points. So where does that leave us? Well, where we are now is that you must dispute credit reporting. As we've said, Congress has passed a, passed a law that says they're going to work with the credit agencies to ensure this, but it's still, it's up to you to disport, dispute your credit. So this brings us to the second part, the reason for us bringing you today and the reason why we're talking to you about improving your financial situation. situation. There's a, a, a book, a story called Discredit, which is employers are using credit reports in order to qualify workers. And that was put out by Amy Traub. Uh, again, this is fair use. So it's from Demos Organization. It reads that credit reports were not designed as an employment screening tool. Instead, they were developed as a means for lenders to evaluate whether an, a would-be borrower would be a good risk. Again, the purpose of the FICO score, the credit report, was just to determine what is called whether a lender can evaluate your credit risk. What has happened? Well, the employers have decided to use this as a mechanism in which to determine their hiring process. Among a survey respondents who were unemployed, one in four says that the potential employers have requested permission to check their credit report as part of their job application. Yes, as part of their job application to determine whether or not you are hired. Also, what's happening, if you've been on a job for a while, they also can look at your credit report to see whether or not you can continue in that job. Now, all of this may seem very unfair. Um, in fact, we did further research. Congress attempted back in 2020 to pass a national ban on employment credit checks, and they failed to pass it in Senate. As a result, employers can refuse to hire a job candidate because of their bad credit report. Yes, it can. So in addition to having erroneous medical information on your credit report, which results in a lower score, your employer can use that same information to determine whether or not you're employed. Right now, 11 states limit employment credit checks, and those are California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Maryland, Nevada, Oregon, Vermont, and Washington. That means that leaves more than 30 plus states in which you can lose your job or they can refuse to hire you as a result of your credit report. So, Again, we're bringing this to you as part of, yes, you want to get off child support, and that's understood. But in addition, we're pointing out that your credit history, in other words, for you to bounce back from child support, you also need to pay attention to your credit history. 
Now, Congress has done their part in terms of the medical erroneous and the national reporting agencies, the Equifax, will remove that from your from your credit report, but you still need to go the distance. Now, on our website called childsupport.newzendler.com, we have a, a module called removing child support from your credit report, but also it helps you and give you tips and guidelines of how to improve your credit. Also, we point out that there is a reward for improving your credit in addition to fixing your credit report, but also preventing your employer from using that same information to either deny you a new employment or even just a raise. Now, all this is on what is called our masterclass, where we have information regarding you removing child support from your life. Now, thanks for tuning into this episode. Again, this is brand new information about medical and the, the, the credit reporting agency where they will remove the bad debt. And thank you. As always, we're looking for donations. We're always asked for donations to help us bring you new more information and relevant, as well as if you have any questions or comments on today's episode, please feel free to reach out to us at our email. And thanks. Have a good day.